Okay, we're going to connect a washer to a stack on floor level one. And we want to zoom in on that washing machine. So here's the washer in blue. The first thing I want to do is get it positioned uh, so that it's, it's able to receive the, uh, the drain. Uh, I'm going to click on the washer. It will turn red. And once it's selected and it's turned red, <clears throat> I can drag it around with my mouse cursor. And I want to get it so that drain, the circle behind the washer, is directly in line with the stack. And as you can see, there's a dimension line going off to the right. I want it to intersect the middle of the stack as closely as possible. And I want it also to be centered in the space. And that looks about right to me. So now I'm going to switch to front view right here. And here's my little washer drain here. And I see that there's a sanitary tee down here. I think that's supposed to be a clean out tee. Uh, this, this plan was drawn by one of our Quick Plum users. I'm going to move that clean out T. First I'm going to just delete it by selecting the little pipe and click the X and I'm going to add it back after I've connected my washer to the stack. So the next thing I want to do <clears throat> in order to prevent it from automatically creating its own stack I'm going to have to lock that washer drain in place so I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to right click. Uh, first of all, I'm going to bring my cursor over close to the washer. Once it turns red, I'm going to right click, select properties, and then I'm going to select lock fixture. And that'll prevent it from creating its own stack and drain. All right, now as you can see, my washer drain has moved over here to its home position. Now I need to, I need to reposition this stack, and I'm going to do that with an offset that will consist of two 45s. So I'm just going to draw a little 45 degree angle here. Try that again. Okay, let's bring it up here. Once I've got that drawn, I can drag it down. I want it as low as possible behind the washer. It's going to bump into that sanitary tee, and it's, it won't be able to move any further than that. Okay. Now I'm going to bring another pipe up, and this will be my new stack location. So essentially, I have offset the stack. And now I'm ready to bring in the trap arm of the washer. I want it to be 2 inch so I'm going to change the size to 2 and I'm just going to bring it off the stack horizontally and position it under that washer drain. Okay now I might want to lower that so I'm going to select it and I'm going to drag it down. You can drag it down with a mouse or you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard, either one. Okay. So there's my sanitary tee and my trap arm. So now all that's left to do is to drag a pipe, a two inch pipe from the washer down to the trap arm. And there you see it has inserted a stack a trap, excuse me. Now I'm going to put my clean out tee behind the washer, but I want it high enough in the wall so that if I ever have to use it, I don't have to move my washer. So 
I'm just going to I'm going to move to the side view and so here's the stack I'm going to bring my clean out T I've got to use a three inch pipe for this because I'm my clean out T is going on a three inch pipe so I've got to have a three inch extension that will represent the opening to the clean out T and so now uh, I have my washer connected so let's take a look at that in the 3D view we can all sometimes it's helpful to turn off graphics so I'll just go to view graphics and uncheck it and now we can kinda see what's happening here and I see a floor drain under it uh, that'll have to be connected uh, the customers indicated that he wants to bring that out separately that will have to be connected uh, in a different plan because one of the features in Quick Plum is that it won't allow more than one drain to exit the building and that's kind of a safety feature to prevent uh, stray pipes from being drawn inadvertently and messing up your plan so let's take a look at the 3D version of that I'm just going to zoom in on that. Let's go to top view and we'll go back to isometric and we'll zoom in on that. And here we are. There's our washer with our clean out T. And let's just let that rotate a little bit. And that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.